Hi everyone, it's Miss Kristen at the Pittston Memorial Library. Happy Earth Day! So for the month of April, I thought it would be fun to combine Steam Club and Craft Club and make one big Earth Day celebration. So the way we're going to celebrate Earth Day is making bug jars. So we have these kits and I took one and just added on the grass part of it to see if school glue, like regular um, white glue would work, and it does. It recommends, I mean, it does mention um, using a glue gun, but if we never used one before or don't feel comfortable using one, uh, it seems like Elmer's glue does work well. Okay, so inside you have instructions. It gives you a little bit of detail of what you're going to do. You have this little part, which is fun. Some will be bees, some will be ladybugs, and this goes on top of your lid. And what's fun is you can see there's holes in your lid and then there's holes in this little part here. So you have to match up your holes and then glue that onto your lid. So you almost make, a, you're making a bug, turning a bug jar into a bug. Then there's leaves that you can glue on the outside of your jar. There's a little label that says my bug jar. And there's a little piece of um, pipe cleaner that you can turn into antenna, something that looks like that, and two googly eyes that you can add to your lid to make it fun. Okay, then once that is done, you will just go out into nature and find your bugs. Just be very careful picking up the bugs. You can maybe scoop them into the jar or like gently push them into your jar. It's fun to add little twigs and leaves and things like that for them to climb on and have fun with. But just keep in mind that with bugs, you don't want to keep them in the jar for very long. You can keep them in for a couple hours, maybe observe them. If you have a magnifying glass, there, it would be really neat to, to look at the legs, count the legs, look at the different body parts that they have. Um, but just remember to release your bug um, when you're done so that it can go out and explore on its own. Okay. And if you want to, you can check out some books from the library. So we have Every Day is Earth Day. This is a Ready, Jet, Go story. We have Our Earth by Anne Rockwell. We have I Can Save the Ocean. The Little Green Monster Cleans Up the Beach. Those are fun for Earth Day. If you're more interested in the bug part of things, we have a book on ladybugs. They're my favorite book. Yeah, books. I do like books, but my favorite bugs. <laughs> then we have the Usborne Big Book of Big Bugs. We have a book titled, Which Bug Uses a Torch? And Reader's Digest Pathfinders, Insects and Spiders. So lots of nonfiction things that you can check out uh, to give you a little bit more information about the bugs that you might find on your little exploration. All right. Thanks everybody for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.